What is going on everybody? So today I'm basically gonna be making a video for you guys based on uh, Beamer code. A lot of people have been asking, how do I get this Rolls Royce chime in my car? And the simple answer to that is Beamer code. A lot of hidden features that these cars have, you know, there's a lot of features that a lot of people don't even know exist and they're chassis cars. Today, I'm basically gonna be showing you guys how to work Beamer code and how to code your car. So let's get right into the video. Freaking barn find in here. Okay, so in order to even do this, you're gonna need this V-Peak uh, OBD majigger. I don't really know what they call them. And then what, what do you need on your phone in order? Let me find it here. Yeah, uh, Beamer code is uh, what I was telling them. It looks like, yeah, that in the middle. I don't know. And then there's gonna be like a subscription fee. It's like what? 30 bucks. 30 bucks. I think, or $39. Or so yeah, you just, you have to buy that. It's a one-time thing. Um, totally worth it. So when you first log onto the app, this is what you see. Um, you're gonna make sure you're choosing the right, like these are all the adapters you can use with the app. I chose the Viapeak, um, cause that's like the best one apparently. But you just make sure that's right. You can go to connect, Viapeak, there it is. Okay. Okay, all right. So then it's gonna bring you to this screen. You choose what car. Um, so most of the time it'll automatically like say what car it is, but like I have the 3 Series Max, the four. So once it loads in, um, after it backs up and everything, you're gonna go into, and Matt already has stuff changed, obviously. So like here's the Rolls Royce warning chime and you're just gonna go in here. The stuff you can change is like, there's a whole bunch, honestly. There's like startup displays, you have the M1, so it'll show like when you start up, um, Show like a little M driving down a road. Um, sport display, kind of forget where. There's just like a bunch of stuff you can change in this little thingy. And oh, okay. You can also do video in motion, which you already have. Yeah. Cool. Um. I, so, how much was this little thing? Thirty dollars, I think. All together, it's like sixty bucks. Sixty bucks. And you can completely change all the shit in your car. It's so cool. So, I think it's worth it, um, especially if y'all want to like add a little spice to your car. I don't know, I think it's cool. It's like a mod, but not really, if you kind of get the idea. But it's really cool. You can change a lot of stuff like this. Um, pretty much all F chassis owners do it. So uh, if you haven't already, you should. Definitely recommend doing it. Once you basically choose all the stuff that you want, you can go ahead and hit code. It's gonna tell you, you know, important stuff that you should know. Um, just hit start coding, set that there. Um, it usually takes like a minute or so. That's the startup animation that I was talking about. Cool. So now, you have tire pressure and temperature displayed. Yeah, so show them that. So I don't know if it'll work if your car is not on currently, but here's basically. Oh yeah. So it'll show you your PSI and your temperature. Obviously when the car is on and the tires are hot, whatnot, yeah. it'll update that. Mm. So yeah, that's basically it with Beamer code. Think of 30 already has like a huge library of videos on Beamer code that he did with his old um, three series. And that's where I kind of learned all this. Um, so yeah, if you have any other like proper questions, check out them. We'll make some more videos too. Yeah. That's gonna do it for this video. Hope each and every one of you guys enjoyed it. as always. Drop me a like if you enjoyed, helps me out a lot. Um, and then I'll make sure to link you guys all this stuff. Don't worry. Thank you guys for watching as always and we'll see you in the next one.